Watch this. This guy is seriously genius. On his way home, he got pranked by his neighbor. He gave it everything he had, pedaling his bike so fast it was almost smoking, but he still couldn't catch up. Fuming, he pulled out an angle grinder and cut through the bike's top and down tubes, separating the front fork from the rest of the frame. Next, he slid a gear onto the rear wheel's freewheel, aligned it perfectly, and tack welded it in place. Then, he grabbed two flat bars with pre-drilled holes, slipped them onto each side of the wheel axle, and tightened them with nuts. These flat bars would act as the bike frame's side supports. After that, he welded two more flat bars horizontally, between the side supports and at the rear, connecting both sides into a solid frame. He placed the front fork on the front of the frame, aligned steel tubes with the gaps left from cutting, and tack welded two new steel tubes, making the entire frame strong and complete. By now, can you guess what he's building? Next, he sprayed the entire frame a bright red, making it eye-catching and flashy. Then, he reattached the tack welded gear flange into the angle grinder's drive assembly and screwed on two metal plates to act as connecting rods. He placed the connecting rods onto the frame's foot mounts, welding them in place, merging the drive assembly and frame into one unit. Next, he tack welded the chainsaw shaft to the drive shaft, then welded two foot brackets at the bottom of the chainsaw, securing it firmly to the frame. He connected the rear wheel gear and the drive gear with a chain, completing the power transmission system. He also used zip ties to secure the gas tank under the frame, reconnected the fuel line to the chainsaw, and used the brake cable to control the throttle, adjusting the chainsaw's speed. And just like that, a fully creative chainsaw-powered bike was complete. He kicked on the chainsaw, rode it on the road, and it was insanely powerful. When he ran into the neighbor who pranked him, he returned the favor, making the scene both satisfying and hilarious. So here's the question. Do you think this bike is as cool as it looks?